Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with a black and white image filter on your Squarespace website. I have two sample images from my super fun photo shoot below, so we're gonna be playing around with these. And to do this, we're gonna be working with the custom CSS section of our website. So to navigate there, let's click on design and then custom CSS. The first code beneath this video is just to apply the grayscale filter to all images all the time. So you'll see at first we identify we're working with an image, then we say, okay, computer, let's add the grayscale filter at 100%, and that's all we're gonna do today. So there we go, and that's what it looks like. Now let's say you'd actually like that to only be on a hover, super simple fix, just add the word hover. So now we're saying, all right, computer, with all of these images, only when I hover on them, apply the grayscale filter and watch what happens. You ready? What? Now it's a black and white image. Now, if you'd like that transition to be a little bit smoother, there is a way for us to do that. What we need to do is add the transition of the filter and give it a slightly different timestamp here. So this code is also beneath the video. I'm gonna paste it at the top. I'm gonna say, hey computer, with this image block, I want there to be a transition effect here. When you apply the filter, wait half a second and ease it in. I'm gonna go ahead and change this half a second to two seconds so we can really see the impact here, okay? So when I click on it, now it takes a full two seconds to go black and white. And when I unhover over it, now we're back to full color. So normally I work with about a half a second at a time um, just to make it a little bit smoother and not so sudden. So definitely play around with that if you'd like to, that's the transition filter. So those are the only two codes I had to cover today, just the image filter for grayscale. Um, you can also play around with this percentage to make it not as dramatic. Um, I'll show you on this other image too, just slightly, slightly toned down. <laughs> but when I use this to make images black and white, I stick with 100%. Alrighty, both these codes are beneath the video and that's it for this super quick tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe so you can see a new one every week. And when you're ready for more CSS tips and snippets, check out my CSS cheat sheet. Available now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.